What is the best AR-15 muzzle device? Funny question. It's a trick question. Because there is, I don't think there is a best AR-15 muzzle device. There's a, there's a purpose for every muzzle device and a purpose for every rifle. And I think uh, you just need to think about what you want the rifle for, what you're going to use it for, and think about the best plan for that use. Um, anybody that says that X is the best thing or the battle comp's the best or the A2 is the best is just silly because uh, they all do they all do something well and other things not as well. So anyway, the reason I made this video is because people always talk about what's the best and what's not the best. People are asking, hey, what's the best thing, you know? I think anybody that says that's silly, that something's the best. I think they all have their own purpose. And I'm making this video because <clears throat> I was just doing some outdoor shooting with various muzzle devices and uh, I was shooting at, I was shooting without hearing protection in the yard outside. And I, I made a couple shots with an A2 birdcage on my, on my LWRC, my 16 inch gun. And it was fine. I didn't even notice any kind of any kind of pain in my ears. Everything was okay. I mean, I know it's not hearing safe, but it was at it was at a skunk that sprayed my brother's dog. So I just grabbed the gun and shot. I didn't have time to get hearing protection. I didn't even notice it was fine. I didn't I didn't notice anything in my ears. But uh, the next day, saw another skunk and grabbed my Scar 16. I made a couple shots with that without hearing protection, and I felt pain in my ears immediately. And this is outdoors, so I mean, it made a lot of sense immediately what was happening. The the, the sound wave from the the PWS comp or flash hider slash comp on my Scar 16 caused pain in my in my ears. So it was pretty obvious what was happening. So I think if you have any gun that you think you might take out and use without hearing protection I think uh, you should think about think about trying it without hearing protection before you have to use it without hearing protection because I took three shots of my scar outside my scar 16 and it, it hurt and the first one hurt and I hesitated to even shoot the second two because I felt immediate pain and that's no good in your hearing so I shot my scar 17 outside but with no hearing protection that was while well, I was hunting and I stuck the muzzle outside of the window of the deer blind so it was about six eight inches outside the shack and shot it my ears rang a little bit but I didn't feel the pain like I did with my scar 16 with you know so I'm toying with the notion of replacing that thing with something that if I had to shoot it outside with no hearing protection or even inside god forbid with no hearing protection that it wouldn't screw my hearing up immediately. So yeah, but I uh, I used to have a battle comp on this until until that day, and I switched it out to a which was like last week. I switched it out to an A2 birdcage from a battle comp 1.0, and I definitely feel the trade off. I mean, the muzzle moves a little bit more, but I mean it's 223.556. So if you if you get behind the gun right, you can shoot these plenty fast. Uh, without a break or a comp on there if you train and know how to hold the, hold the weapon well. Um, so, I don't know, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on, on muzzle devices on AR 15s. Again, you got to know your purpose. Practice, practice with it the way you're going to use it. I don't say go out and damage your, your hearing just to test this, but it was one of those things that I noticed. So, I'm changing. I'm changing the. I'm changing them all out on my guns because, God forbid, if I do have to take it out and use it outside with no hearing protection, protect myself. I don't want to lose my hearing at the same time. It was pretty disorienting. It was painful. So, yeah. All right. Have a good day.